All right. Here's my brand new outstanding K-Bar that I got from a competition that I won on uh, edcplanet.com, which is Everyday Carry Planet. This is the uh, grand opening here, outstanding knife. I've seen these in stores, never owned one till now. <coughs> and essentially what you can see, nice full tang hatchet we've got going on. Handles a little slick. I, however, have some plans for that. We'll uh, add more to the video at the end. Very sharp. That's actually very, very sharp. A lot sharper than I thought it would be for this type of a knife. And a nice little finger piece there so you can choke up on the handle in case you, you know, I don't know, want to skin a squirrel or something. Uh, probably a little bit better for a guillotine and squirrel. A nice pummel right there. Glass breaker, or probably more of a hammer than anything else. This is the sheath we've got going on. A little 550 cord hanging off the bottom. And uh, basically it's a large piece of plastic that goes the length of the blade with a little bit of flat left on the bottom. Also comes with a uh, nice little extra holder here. Evidently there's a small knife that can go in there because it's got a piece of plastic there for it or a stone or a leatherman I think would be a good idea to put in this thing. Nice loop there, or evidently you can hook it up to the old school military uh, attachments as well. Thanks, guys. It's a freaking awesome knife. I will add to the back end of this video the uh, additions that I do to it. See ya. Get it. Okay. So, got this knife for free off EDC Planet. The uh, sheath, I'm sorry, the handle is quite slick. So, what I did was added some racquetball tape to it. Nice and grippy. I like it. Not bad. This is one option. However, I think because it's kind of squishy, I'm a little bit concerned about the squishiness, I'm going to replace it with some skateboard tape. So we will uh, see how that turns out. Okay, so what we're doing is drill the little pocket on the side of my Topps uh, Tom Brown tracker knife right there and then I took a spoon that I've been grinding the crap out of it okay basically gonna fit right there that's gonna be the lubrication or the top of the axle for my bow drill basically what I'm doing is just slowly grinding it down There's the hole. Piece of disc broken off right there. That's basically what's gonna happen. It's gonna fit right in that hole. I got another one that's gonna go underneath this one, and that's for my other knife. This is what I'm gonna lock it down with. We'll see how it turns out. This is how it's turned out. I haven't uh, cleaned off the extra uh, putty or whatever. But I'm sure the first stick I put in there will clean it right off. So you can kind of see, hopefully focus a little bit. So it's indented and it's just steel. And uh, that's a spoon basically with some epoxy behind it. This knife blade still works just fine. And that's how that one turned out. Alright, here's the finished product. So, this big K bar. As you can see, a little bit off, but the whole volume of this, the whole inside is full of that epoxy putty. And it kind of bowed out a little bit, but I cranked it down on the screws, so man, that sucker is super tight. Um, 
anyway, that is my axle for a uh, bow uh, bow fire starter, and uh, looks like it'll work. Nice and shiny, a little bit ugly. So if anyone does this in the future, I suggest that you make that maybe just about that much bigger around the outside of everything. Um, so grind your, your teaspoon down a little bit bigger and then fill up the volume of that, that epoxy and do it really, really quick. Squish it in, scrape it off because it dries fast and, and this one's still hot from drying. Those are my axles. And so be it, I guess. Anyway, um, that was my project. Thanks so much. All right, here's the finished product. Haven't really changed the sheath. Just folded it over and tightened it up. That way it's not flapping all over the place. Anyway, I uh, chopped a spindle for a, um, a bow drill and I yeah, left a little goo on the blade, but whatever, I'll clean that up later. Anyway, so I added skateboard tape. I got, earlier I showed how I did that. Put a couple sheets on it here and there, and ultimately if it bugs you, you pull it off. And then I've got a piece over there. This I added a while ago. I don't know if I videoed this. Um, I filled the inside of it with epoxy. Uh, that gray and black epoxy you can get it like any auto zone or checkers or whatever. And this is a spoon. I ground off the outer part of the spoon and stuck it in there behind a hole that I made. So that you can put your spindle in it and uh, use it as your top axle for a bow drill. Anyway, those are the additions that I have done to my K-Bar that I won on edcplanet.com.